You know you're in for a treat when you combine lobster and scallops. That's what we're doing today in the 207 Kitchen. Chef Gil Plaster is with us. He is from the Tiller Restaurant at the Cliff House in Agunquit. What are you going to make for us, Gil? Today I'm going to make one of our signature dishes, lobster fried rice. And at the restaurant, we pair it with a nice seared main scallop on top. All right. So today, that's what we'll be doing. I'll be showing you our fried rice. We also sell it as a side so you can add whatever protein you want to the top. Let's get started. Where do we begin? Sounds good. We're put, gonna put a little bit of oil here in our pan. We're gonna go ahead and start with our vegetable mixture. So we do tricolored mixed peppers. We do some European leeks and edamame. Okay. Get a nice amount of that in there going. Then we kind of saute this up for a little bit, kind of let it do its thing. You say this is your signature dish. What is it about yeah. this dish that you think makes it so popular? Uh, I think the combination of, you know, what everyone travels to Maine for. Beautiful scallops, beautiful lobster. I think for me, that's, that's what the driving force is behind Yeah, this. no, that's... that's, that's I'd, I'd like to think that it was my culinary ability, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's the two stars of no, the dish, I, I would say. Well, you know what? This is what great chefs do, is they take great ingredients. And uh, you can be a terrific chef, but yes, if you don't have good ingredients, you're probably not going to go too far, right? I, I would agree. I there would agree. Go. So then the next thing we'll do is we'll add our uh, lemongrass steamed jasmine rice. Okay. So kind of a little bit different to your regular rice dish. Uh, we cook the rice with lemongrass. So we crack the lemongrass, throw it in there, kind of give that lemon essence flavor to the fried rice. And for people who want to try that at home, I'm going to guess that's actually not all that difficult. So it they shouldn't not. be intimidated by that? No. And the recipe will be online yeah. with you guys. Yeah. So we just kind of saute that around, let that rice get nice and soft. Okay. How do you know when that is ready? Um, so you're basically just looking for some color on the vegetables and your rice to kind of get nice and soft and fall down. Because we pre-do our rice so we pick it up to order. Yes. So it's a little bit more streamlined for us in the restaurant. But if you're making this at home, you want to steam the rice, leave it off to the side hot. You mix the vegetables together. And then what really pulls the dish together, my thought, is this is our uh, green curry coconut sauce that kind of gives us that flavor. And what is in that? Oh. Well, that's, that's the secret, that's, sir. That's the trade secret. That is the trade you secret. You could tell me, but then you'd have to kill me, huh? Yep, but everyone at home will know because I gave that <laughs> recipe, too. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and stir that around. This really is going to kind of give this rice its flavor, its pop. Um, you know, your, your traditional fried rice is usually a soy sauce-based sauce to kind of give it that brown yeah, tint. Yeah. You know, we think that the coconut curry really gives it the flavor we're looking for. And then right at the end, we add some arugula. Give that peppery kind of bite to the fried rice. And then the next star, some nice, beautiful, large chunks of lobster throw in there. Boy, that looks really good. And you, we haven't even gotten to the scallops yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already sold on it though. Yeah. What would you guess, uh, particularly in the summertime when you got more people from out of state. People mm -hmm. who come to Maine from out of state, what percentage of them, when they come into a restaurant, order lobster? I would we're, say... We're where lobster's on the menu. And I would say probably about, for our guests, we're about 80-20. 80% of them come in and order lobster. 20 of them want to just experience what we're doing at the, at the resort. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is, we're just about done here with the fried rice. Okay. So our, I uh, pre-seared some scallops to kind of save us on some time. So these are yes. beautiful local Maine scallops. We are in Maine scallop season now. Um, so we source these from Taylor Lobster, which is uh, down in Maine. So this is perfect. These, are, these work perfect for this dish, a perfect pairing. Yes. So if you wouldn't mind handing me that plate, we'll go ahead and turn this rice off. You don't burn the bottom. Then at the restaurant, we also add a nice little uh, lemon curry aioli to kind of keep that curry flavor going mm -hmm. and add some lemon just to kind of uh, depth of flavor for the rice. So we do a little spoon push there. Take our fried rice here, watch yourself. How long did it take you to master the spoon push? A um, couple years. <laughs> A couple years. I, I, I train this, my staff on it pretty much every day. I'd love to come down sometime during <laughs> spoon class and uh, spoon, what was it? Spoon, spoon, spoon push. Spoon, so spoon push, push classic. Spoon push yeah. instruction week. That'd be fun. So then we, at the restaurant, we just go ahead and top it with these beautiful scallops. And that's our lobster fried rice with main scallops. Boy, that is one marvelous looking dish right there. The secret. 
is in the recipe. And the recipe is on our website. Go to newcentermain.com slash 207, either the website or our app. You're going to find the recipe for this wonderful dish, fried rice, lobster, scallop. And you're going to find more information about the Tiller restaurant where, chef is, or where Gil is the chef at the Cliff House in Agunquit. Great to have you here. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We're back with more of 207 right after this.